Welcome back everyone to Pick Up Bricks. My name is Jesse and today we have my father Danny in the house. Hello. So uh, he's just going to be reading me the questions and I brought him on because uh, I like people and I like talking to people and uh, you can't really have a conversation when you're on your own. So today we are looking at my mock of a Toyota FJ Cruiser SUV off-roader thingy. I don't really know what the exact definition and the exact category you put that in, but this is what we're looking at, and I hope you enjoy it. So, take us away. Alright. Okay, so first of all, let me just say I'm very impressed with the build. You finished it today. You were pretty excited about it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Tough to have a conversation when you're all alone. <laughs> I'm giving you an opening here. Tell me, tell me how excited you were. Uh, I, I, I'm really happy with it. I've wanted to build one of these for ages, and I just never got got around to it. I think I was daunted. Um, and I don't even know why. It's quite a boxy shape. What did you think would be the hardest thing? What did you think would be the hardest bit? Mm, what I... I don't really know the white top. Just never really done something like that. Also, getting it... A white top. Um, right. Like the video. If you're, pay, <laughs> if you're having fun and paying attention, like the video right now. Uh, Alright, um... I think that I got the front shaping really good, especially on the, on the bonnet. And then I also basically made it one stud longer without making it one stud longer. So I just moved the seats back one stud. I essentially moved everything back one stud so that I could get this mm -hmm. one stud in there. And I and the reason was when I was originally building it, the bonnet was also a stud shorter. Bonnet for you Americans, that's the food. Yeah, uh, I think all of my subscri subscribers are American. Except for you. Oh, I'm American too. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, let's crack into the eight questions. These are Jesse's eight questions. We decided that every build should come with a series of questions, and we're trying to, he's trying to do all these questions, uh, you know, for oh, each one of these builds. Something else I like is that the pin that holds, oh, sorry about that, the pin that holds the spare tire is blue. I liked that too. I to match that the rest. Cool. Okay guys, and if you want to see another video that uh, the way the format is these eight questions, you can go and look at the other video where I play a cameo. Uh, it's actually my Ford Ranger oh, something or other. Okay. Which I haven't posted yet, I still need to edit that. It'll be up so, by the time So if it's up. not up by the time this is up, it will be up shortly, but he hasn't forwarded it to me from his computer. Right, exactly. Okay, question number one. What is your absolute favorite part of this build? The uh, roof racks and top area, without a doubt. Do you need to give people a bit of a, a bit of a display here? A bit of, a bit of a, no, 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 just like aim it down, like tilt it in. There you go. So the roof racks have the uh, kayak, and then let me zoom you in. Make sure you don't lose your focus ever. So you got the roof racks. You got the roof racks, you got the kayak up there, and then that kayak can remove. And then the roof rack pieces are just like the same one that I used on the bonnet, and then I used two of those, one of those on the bonnet, and then one of those on the front. And just as you told me not to lose focus, I am losing focus, so let me just bring you guys back in. Sorry about that. Which way are you supposed to go? Now I'm getting mixed up in the way my kayak's supposed to go. Alright, let me zoom you back out. Yeah, so the roof racks have got to be my favorite, and then the lights on the front are also very, very nice. I, um, I, I think it looks really good and really off-roady, and then you've also got the custom sticker uh, solar panel on the top, and then the kayak uh, paddle thing. Mm -hmm. Rah, 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 rah. Exactly. Okay, do you have an absolute least favorite part? Absolute least favorite part? I would have liked a different color uh, of these back slopes. 
I would have preferred to go for black. Or if I... How come d- does the... You know, like, you'll flash a picture up there mm. now so people can see. As you can see, the color typically is... What? I don't know. It's... There's not really a specific color from the picture I was going off of. It was... They were clear. They were like extensions of the win- uh, uh, back yeah, yeah, window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's irking me is that these are not the same color of, as these. Mm. So I think that could have been better. I suppose you could have done that. I mean, if you'd had well, like, these are dark reverse. gray and these are dark gray. Yeah, but if you'd turn, if you'd done like up at the front, and switch it around, spin it around. Okay, so the windscreen, you've got you know two of those. What are they? Three, four. They're four studs wide, two studs long, and then two studs high. Right. So if you got those two things as well on the back. Mm. And you just reversed it. And then just found a way, because that would mean overlapping on here. Right. And there would have to be a way, because, it, like, show them, because your FJ is... FJ, uh, yeah, FJ Your cruiser. cruiser is slightly different than the, uh, the make that rolls off the production line at Toyota because of the back. And also because it's, like, one million, the scale. Yeah. Um... <laughs> um the, the 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 boot the uh, yeah so on the uh, on the actual FJ let me remove these because to do the feature these actually can't be there on the factory vehicle the back swings open it doesn't swing up and I couldn't do that because of the exhaust and this so the boot can boot what's the American version for that trunk. So the trunk door can open completely and you have a very, uh, a relatively large area of space in there. Uh, Is it a two-seater? It's a two-seater. You, it would have been a little more difficult to put in four more seat, two more seats in the back. Yeah. On the actual vehicle, they're four seat. Yeah, keeps But uh, it was just a little difficult to get because with the wheel covers on the inside, uh, you can just you can see these to get two more seats in there would have been a, li- a little tricky Right, so I um, I went for the two seat and then while I'm putting these uh, the kayak and the thing back on you, you can, can leave them off. You're gonna be yeah. you're, you're probably gonna be continuing yeah. to display things. So Plus I just lost my uh, just lost my kayak <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, what was the hardest part of the build to accomplish from a technical perspective? I think I know what you're gonna say, but let's see if it's safe. So, thank you for reminding me, I was thinking about that. So, let me just lower you down a bit. Alright, this tripod's a bit shaky, and link in the description. So, if you can look right in there, you can see that that, there's no gap, and what I struggle with is the gap that's between the wheel wells and the front bonnet, especially if I'm doing uh, modded vehicles where the front has been cut away, is that there's a gap there. And I don't like that, and I find it really ugly and really frustrating. So, this time, I said to myself, I'm going to beat you, and the car said, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, I shall beat you, and I shall stop that hole. So, um... For everyone who's watching and who also has this problem, this is what you have to do. So, let me just remove the front. And this is what I did. Alright. So, what I used to uh, stick it out are the snot bricks. Stud, uh, snot stands for studs not on top. Let's make sure your fingers on the way so they can properly see. And with these snot bricks, it's one and then they go vertical two bricks. And it comes out, I think it's half a plate. If anyone knows the exact measurement of that, it's half a plate, I think. So, what I did is these newer pieces are these. Are you gonna come and focus? No, you're not. No, you're not gonna come and focus. Yeah. So, you can see those. Anyway, you know what these pieces are. And then what I did was I just put some cheese wedges, a cheese, there you can see it, a, a uh, blue cheese wedge like that, like so, zoom down, and 
down like that. Ah, this is what I should have done. So you can see that. There you go. You can set stuff on a little Lego box table. It proves to everybody how many times you go to the Lego store. Not as much as I'd like. <laughs> Just turn it and spin it. You are wise. So, as you can see, like that. This is shaky. As you can see, like that. And then I just attached them to the bit like there. And then I just slotted these with the anti stud on the top right in there, and it fits perfectly. And those cheese wedges, you aren't even looking at it, and the cheese wedges. They make a perfect angle on the bottom. Ta da! So that was the hardest part to accomplish from a technical perspective. Purely because I had never done something like that before. And it was just difficult in general. So if you ever have that problem, use that piece. Because it works a dream. And you can do that in any color, that, that uh, cheese slope, no, the, that the uh, snot brick, snot piece comes in. All right, everyone, we're back. Okay, next question. Why, I think, I think you've already covered that. The question is, why was that so difficult? And I suppose the, the answer there is because you, you, you're working with snot breaks. Um, that, that's kind of that, that's kind of like an entire subculture of Lego working. It, it's like Lego food and it's like Lego micro scale. It's like another subculture within the culture. Right. Okay. So question number five. If you could change one thing about this build, what would it be? The, I've already answered that. Yeah, the dark gray on the back. Dark gray on the back. And then also if I could have put another row of seats in. Mm -hmm. Did you have space or did you just skip it? I could have done it. I could have done it. But it would have meant that you could see through the wheel wells. It meant you could have seen through the wheel wells slightly. Okay. So I'm, so I'm glad I didn't. I just wish that I did. If you know, if you know what I mean. I know what you Okay, so I guess the obvious question here, the obvious answer to the question, what gave you the inspiration to do this is, or perhaps we know what the inspiration is, it's the, it's the FJ Cruiser, okay? Mm -hmm. Why, what inspired you recently to make it? I have a, uh, I have a friend who lives across the street from us, he's a uh, cop, and his daughter drives an FJ Cruiser, and I've always liked them, and I've always wanted to build one. And I decided to go for it. Jump in, take the plunge. Today was the day. Today was the day. Well, I actually started it yesterday. Got it, okay. So, yesterday was the day, but today was the day to finish it. And after I'd done like the chassis with the wheels and stuff, it came together shockingly quickly. Mm. Like, I, I'm i almost surprised how quickly it came, it came together. Oh, also another, one of my favorite parts is how the dark gray continues on all along with the running boards. Mm -hmm. I think that looks really good on both sides. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan and a strong proponent of color coordination. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. And the his his Ranger, thank you very much, it's applied most of the blue for this build. Bingo. Okay, so that leads into question number seven. Why did you pick this color or these colors, and was this or these your favorite choice? Originally, I was going to go with all white. How come? I like white. Our car's white. Oh, most cars in Australia are white. Yeah. Um, but I knew that I didn't have a lot of white pieces in the shapes that I needed. Which shapes? In particular? Especially the slopes that just make up the wheel, wheel wells. Okay. Just those one by two vert, uh, anti slope oh, yeah. pieces. Um, and I'm glad I and I and I'm glad I did make the switch, also because it makes the white roof stand out so much, mm -hmm. and that's almost a trademark with the uh, FJ. Yeah, I'm glad that you did it 
in blue as well because even though um, most cars in Australia are white and our car is white because most cars in Australia are white, um, that's just not the way in America. Mm. In America, it's like hardly any cars are white. Mm. I mean, like no more than, they're, they're certainly not the majority, you know? Yeah. And then uh, something else that I really liked, that I really like is the snorkel. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the snorkel on there. Um, tell uh, the uh, non-Australians what that is because I did not see one of those until I came to Australia. Uh, so the snorkel is essentially, it connects, it's essentially a hollow pipe that connects to the engine. And so when the, ri when the vehicle is say fording a river and it's like that deep, and the engine can't get air, the snorkel takes over, and it essentially, it, it, it's kind of like a vacuum cleaner. Is that what they call it in America, a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like a vacuum, and it kind of, and it pulls in the air, and it lets the engine have air. It's actually not for the people, which you might think. It's for the engine, so the engine can keep running, and it's used, and, and you see it a lot in like off-roading areas or country areas, where it's, lo where it's a lot of farming and you have to go off-road. Mm -hmm. Or, well, the people going to Ka like Kakadu and, yeah. um, and like real swampy areas. Where For going... people who don't know what Kakadu is, it's a city in Australia. Know, well, it's, it's not really Kakadu a city. is, a, is a, a big national park. Of course. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, almost. <laughs> uh, okay, what mods, uh, final question, what mods do you want to make immediately after the filming of this uh, video? I'd like to do a caravan. But that's not really a mod. No, but it's definitely a, um, you know, a contribution. Yeah. You're adding to it and you're making it specifically for it. Yeah, so I'd like to do a caravan. Mm. Even just a little one. And that's really it. I would have kind of liked to do a better bull bar. I'm not exactly happy with the bull bar. Okay. I think it's a bit small, but then again, in Australia, you don't really see massive bull bars. No, they're really built into the bumper. Yeah, and um, in America, you do see big bull bars. Like your dad sells semi bull bars to people to bolt them to the to front to of the pickups. On their minivans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think I saw I saw a minivan a few weeks ago that had a bull bar on the front, like a big bull bar. Yeah. Yeah, it was jacked up and it had solar panels on the roof and it was like an off-roading minivan. Off-road minivan. Now, if anyone would like me to build an off-road minivan, put it in the description. Okay. In the comments. Yeah. I always get this mixed up. Comment. Comment. Leave a comment. Leave Say a comment if plus you... Plus one for minivan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, kiddos, I'm gonna like do what I would do uh, if this were my video and I would say just by the way we're using a pretty sweet Canon camera for all these zoom shots and focus groups, not groups, uh, and we're also using a Zoom H1 microphone, all of the equipment barring that custom made uh, Lazy Susan you can find links to in the description. And thank you for doing what I was about today. So, yeah. links in those descriptions, if yeah, you want- I'm all about the money, kids, uh, kids. <laughs> yeah. so if you're, so, if you're uh, looking to make money, you leave a comment too and say, hey, I want to hire your dad, and then I can help you make more money. Right. And uh, if you want to buy any of those cameras, head over, click the link below, buy those, because I'll get money for it, and money's amazing, and like, Money's pretty scarce with a kid my age. <laughs> exactly, you gotta steal that money from Bezos, kids, okay? If you're yeah, yeah, this Amazon. is not a nationalist channel. This is not a rebel no, channel. Hey, but you gotta, you get still, you gotta, you gotta take what you can get, alright, kids? Yeah, that's true. Alright, so, thank you for watching this harem scarum video, which kinda went all over the shop. And I will give you one final spin a row. Sounds it's like a B roll music. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Put the B-roll in here. And uh, let's have some fast-paced B-roll. Oh. oh, and then also it has a ball hitch on the back. Right there. Also, I think that the gold exhaust <laughs> looks so Australian. Oh, love the gold exhaust. Yeah. That's cool. That All right, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Adios. Adios.